Okay, so now that we have an idea of what widgets are in Podio and how we can organize them and use them, let's talk about creating our own widget. So again, I'm in the Projects app in the Sales Workspace. And if I move to the right side of my screen where all of my widgets are and scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll notice that there's a button that says Add Widget. And so this is how we can create our own custom widget to be displayed inside of this app. So I'm going to click Add Widget, and you'll notice that we're presented with a pop-up window that asks us what type of widget we would like to add. And we have a number of options. We can add a text widget, which is just going to be static text. So it could be a welcome message. It could talk about what this particular app is used for. It's really anything that you want people to see when they access the app. We could also upload an image. This could be a company logo, a team logo. It, again, it's a static image. This links section can be very useful. We can actually add a list of links in a widget on the right side of our screen so that if we have a whole bunch of links related to our projects, we could have them listed on the right side of our screen to make them easily accessible for our members. They could click and go directly to the website associated with the link. We could also add a tag cloud widget. When we created our own custom app and we submitted a data item, I mentioned that you can give each item a tag to more easily organize it. Well, if you're making use of this tags feature, you can actually have all of your most recently used tags on the right side of your screen. So let's say we had a tag for the industry that each project was associated with. Well, if I'm using those tags, I could then list the tags on the right, so it would be a list of all the industries, and when I click on one of them, it's going to only show the projects associated with that industry. And the last widget we can add is a report widget, which actually can do calculations and help us break down our data. Most of the widgets that we looked at in the previous video are report widgets. They're actually doing a calculation on our data. So in this video, we're going to add two widgets. I'm going to add a text widget because I think it's pretty straightforward, but it's also very useful. And then I'm going to add a report widget because I think that's going to be the most beneficial one. So to add a text widget, I'm just going to click on text. And you'll notice it shows up in the right side of my screen. It's pretty straightforward. I can just give it a title and then I can add additional text. So I'm just going to type welcome and I'm just going to type a quick message for my employees. I can say welcome to the projects app. Now when I go ahead and click save you'll notice that this welcome widget is now listed with all of my other widgets and I could click and I could drag this all the way to the top of my screen. I'll drop it halfway and I'll bring it all the way to the top. So now I have a welcome widget at the top. I could go ahead and I could edit this daily or monthly, you know, whatever works for your organization. But now let's go ahead and let's take a look at a report widget. So I'm going to go back down to the bottom of my screen and I'm going to click add widget. And this time I'm going to choose report. You'll notice that our screen looks quite a bit different than it did when we were adding a basic text widget. The main difference is this bar up here at the top is where we can choose the report we want to run. And it's basically, it works very similar to Excel. You'll notice that my first field up here is a function field. So I can choose, do I want to find the count of something, the sum, the average, the minimum, the maximum. In this scenario, the widget I'm going to create is going to be the average cost of all my projects. So I've got all these projects listed here. In this case, we only have two. But I want to know what the average cost of those projects are. So I'm going to choose average, and then I get to choose the field that I want to run the average on. So I can click on my drop down, and you'll notice that cost is one of my options. Now at the same time, I could also do a calculation here. So when we created our own custom app, we actually built a calculation into the app, which was cost per hour. Maybe I don't want that in the specific data entry of a particular item in my app, Maybe I want that as a widget on the side. So I could have actually done that same calculation, but I could have had it made it appear on the side of my app by using widgets. But in this case, we're not doing that. We actually don't need an operator because we just want the average of the cost field. So now you'll notice that I get a preview of my widget over here on the right. And right now it's kind of bland. It's just telling me that the average cost of all my apps is $750. And that's because this test project project costs a thousand dollars and this ABC project costs five hundred dollars. However, if you look at the top of my widget, I have a number of different view options and that's based on the data within our particular app. So let's take a look. The first one is just a number and that gives you a basic number. The second one we can break it down by who created the particular app entry or the contact associated with it. So if I choose contact, you'll notice that 
The only contact associated with any of my entries is Anson Alexander. And since he happens to be associated with both of these entries, it's just telling me that the average cost of Anson Alexander's projects are $750, and the overall average is $750. Now, if I had another employee down here, it would tell me the average of their projects, and then it would tell me the total average as well. So that would be a little more useful if I had multiple employees associated with these projects. Let's move on to the next one. This one is the project status. So we can look at the average cost of our projects based on their status. So we can see that the average cost of the in-progress projects is 500. The average cost of the ones in research is 1,000. And then we have our overall average of 750. Again, for this situation, not super useful. The next option is actually the same because, again, we have those two project status fields that we added when we created this app just to sh so I could show you how both of those different fields work. So again, this is going to be the same. We don't need to take a look at that. To me, this next one's going to be the most beneficial. I can tell by the icon here that this is the field that we added when we created this app that linked to another app. And the field that we did that with was the, the client field. So each of these projects is linked to a client. So if I click on this, it kind of looks like a paperclip symbol, you'll notice that it says client. And I can break it down by client so I can see the average cost of Acme Lawn Service projects. And I can see the average cost of Acme Dairy product projects. And then I get my overall average still at the top. So for me, this is the most useful view for this particular widget at this point. Because if I had 20 different organizations, I could take a look and I could see the average cost per organization. So I could see which organization is really giving me the most expensive projects, the ones that I'm probably spending the most time on, but I'm also making the most money on. So I'm actually going to use this view. And so now we can go ahead and we can click Save. When we do that, it's going to ask us for a title. So I'm just going to call it average cost by client. And we can choose where we want it to appear. We could have it appear at the workspace homepage or right in the employee network. And again, it's going to be in the sidebar with the widgets. But for this scenario, I want it right in the apps sidebar. So I choose the app sidebar and I'll click save. Now that my widget has been saved, it takes us back to the sales workspace and inside of the project app. And you'll notice if I scroll down the side of my page here, you'll notice that down at the bottom I have a new widget that says average cost by client. And it's telling me the total average cost and then it breaks it down individually by each client what the average cost of their projects are. So I could now move this widget around. I could move it up here in my sidebar and put it wherever I'd like. So that is how you can create custom widgets here in Podio.